And new information about a veteran who died at the North Carolina State Veterans Home in Salisbury after contracting coronavirus. A worker claims he was supposed to be in quarantine but was allowed around the facility before his death. Our Aaron Edwards spoke with that worker about their concerns. We're learning new circumstances surrounding that case. Yesterday, we told you that man was put in a room with a roommate after returning from that funeral. Now we're learning he was around other patients and allowed in other areas in the facility. And I'm really disappointed um, at how they handled it. An employee who wants to remain anonymous tells Channel 9 North Carolina State Veterans Home notified families on March 27th that residents could not leave due to coronavirus concerns. But they tell us the facility made an exception for one man to attend a family funeral, as long as he stayed in quarantine for 14 days after. Decided that it was a good idea to quarantine him, and then they didn't do it. Um, he was walking freely around the facility. After returning, that employee says he was put in a room with a roommate and still had access to other areas of the facility. That man died on Saturday after testing positive for COVID-19. 11 days after he returned from the funeral. Sources told Channel 9 three other residents were tested. One of them had since died of unrelated causes, while the two others, including the roommate, are in quarantine. The employee tells us prior to this happening, workers were asking to wear protective gear. We were told not to do that because if we're in the facility, we were safe. We reached out to the parent company for the veteran home, asking why the man was able to return to the facility after leaving and whether protective gear was allowed at the time. Pruitt Health sent us this statement, quote, Pruitt Health follows closely the guidance from public health officials. It went on to say, quote, when employees and residents are in contact with someone who tests presumptive positive for COVID-19, they are notified and it is recommended they contact a physician and self-quarantine. Employees who self-quarantine receive pay. We did ask the company about this case and why that man was allowed back in the building. We're told they can't get into specifics because of patient privacy laws. Back to you. Thank you, Aaron. Now here is a more detailed timeline about when this all happened. March 27th, sources say the patient was allowed to leave to go to that funeral. He got sick and last Tuesday went to the hospital in Winston-Salem, where he was diagnosed with advanced stages of lung cancer. On Wednesday, he came back to the veterans home and as he was put in with a roommate, even though he had a fever and cough. On Thursday, though, he was put into isolation and Friday he was tested for the virus. He died early Saturday morning and on Sunday, the test results did confirm he did have that virus.